Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this video series, we are discussing about how to automate your Fury applications and enable regression automated testing for your Fury applications. In this video, we will discuss about how to debug your Java Selenium code and also we will learn a little bit of modularizing our code. In the last session, we have discussed about automating our logon page for Fury Launchpad. If you have not seen my last videos, I would strongly recommend you to please go back, check the description of this video to look at the last set of videos. So we'll go back to our source code in the Eclipse IDE. And here is where we have written our code. So very first thing I would like to quickly modularize this piece of code by adding it another class. So let me add another class as part of our package, say Logon Manager. This class is responsible for mainly managing the Logon related activities. So I would say maybe Initializer, so that can initialize our methods, and I can say Finish. And this Initializer class, we're going to add a method out here. So what I'm going to do is I will go back and separate out all the code which we have written in the app.java file from here and put all of this to handle the logon screen into one of the method of this class over here. So let's go ahead and declare a public static uh, method. And I will say login theory app. And we would expect probably the URL as a string parameter over here. Let's do that. And you can see this URL as a string parameter we will be expecting as an input parameter for this method over here. So let's do that. And now this URL, rather than hard coding, we're going to accept it from the input parameter. So this is what we will be doing as a URL parameter. So let's do that. And I'll just also make this as a string URL. Nice. So that's a nice way of modularization. And I will switch back to the actual one here. And we will just try to call initializer class. Dot perform the login. So we have login fury app method. And we pass the URL from here. That's a good way of modularization of your code. So this way you can make sure that all your initialization code is written in a, in a, in a class and then from there you are just calling it from here. Also just decouple, okay maybe we can keep these dependencies, that's okay. And I want to debug now. So to debug let's set up a breakpoint, double click besides the line number and now you have on the top this small bug icon Please make sure that your debugger perspective is also open. So you can choose this debug perspective and open that so that you can debug things nicely. And now you can click on this debug button so that I can step by step see what exactly is happening with my automation script. So now we are here. You can see the debugger has hit. We can just go a step inside the code. So you can see here all this, the codes, um, code options to jump inside the code to just jump out, step over, step into. So I maybe press F5 to step inside. And now this will uh, show us the inside method code. Yeah, And then you have shortcuts to step over. So I just press F6, so it's setting the property, invoking the Chrome driver. So this, this is the step at, at which browser will get launched. So I just pressed F6 and system is waiting uh, to launch the browser at the moment. So let's continue. So you can see the browser is launched now. And I have got to the next statement. So this statement will maximize your browser instance, F6. And you can see the window will soon get maximized. Yeah, it is maximized now. Goes to the next statement to go to the URL. And now you can go back, you see, it's going to the URL. Maybe I'll dock both of them side by side 
to show you the complete debugging and double click here so next is it's going to find the element and it's going to enter the user id it has found the element and you can see it has entered my user id i press f6 again it gets the password object enters the password you see password is entered and then it will click on the logon button so let me just find the button object so you can also see in the debugger it has found the button object yeah and now it is going to perform the click so it's clicked on the button and now the system is performing the login to the sap fury launchpad and you see slowly my tiles will load superb so let's quickly talk about here what it will be our next step in the next session so now the next step will be to launch a particular fury application of um, which we wanted to test so i have a couple of fury applications over here so what is the first thing we need to keep it in mind that every fury application uh, is navigated via these tiles so there are two ways to achieve the navigation to these tiles and that's what exactly we'll be seeing in the next so I hope you like this video. Please feel free to subscribe this channel and hit the like button and share your comments on the below comment box. With that, Anubhav signing out and I will see you in the next session.